Has science conclusively proven you are what you eat? Not yet. But it is finding evidence suggesting that what you eat may help determine how you feel. Susan Spencer reports our cover story. Let's see what else you got. Ah, so this is a shot from Japan. and Globe-trotting uh, photographer Dave and Krugman feels at home no matter where he is in the world. This is in uh, Taiwan, actually. Taiwan. You always take your camera with you. Yeah. But he hasn't always felt comfortable inside his own head. You've had issues with depression? Yeah, in my life I have. Even as he was building an Instagram following of about 300,000. It wasn't matching up with the way I was feeling about life, which was like that I wasn't enjoying my day-to-day -day life, really. Mm -hmm. I wasn't. He tried therapy, then antidepressants, and finally ended up with an unconventional psychiatrist who posed an unconventional question. Did he ask you specifically what you ate? Yes. What do you eat for breakfast, lunch, dinner? Yeah, we definitely went through it. And thinking about what he put in his mouth really opened his eyes. It made me realize I would just eat whatever popped into my head at that moment. Yeah. Like, oh, I'll go get some ramen. That sounds great. Like chocolate that. cake. Yeah, chocolate cake. <laughs> What's um, the matter with that? Food is medicine. Food is brain medicine. Psychiatrist Drew Ramsey is Dave's doctor. In your everyday life, the number one factor that you have control over in terms of your mental health, it's at the end of your fork. His specialty is the daily special and how it affects your mind. Dr. Ramsey calls this growing new field nutritional psychiatry. Do you treat food as you would a drug and say, this is your prescription for anchovies? And how does it work? All of my patients have a sense of foods that I want them to be eating more of. Those foods, you guessed it, the Mediterranean diet. Colorful vegetables, seafood, olive oil, and lots of leafy greens. We have some sautéed kale here. That's Samantha L. Kreef, a trained chef who works with Dr. Ramsey. Now, this is probably my favorite brain food on the table because these are purple sweet potatoes. Together, they showed us how to make Thanksgiving better for your brain. Oysters, anyone? Well, Susan, someday maybe you'll like the oysters. <laughs> I thought you were going to give that to me. <laughs> no. A lot of people don't like oysters. Right. They're these raw, slimy, scary things right. that maybe make you sick if you don't eat it in the right exactly. month. Exactly. Food fear. Would you ever sit down and eat a cheeseburger and fries? Well, I wouldn't eat a cheeseburger because I don't really eat that much meat and I don't eat dairy. But I would eat like a salmon burger with collard green wrap or something like that have that all the time. <laughs> yeah. One of my staples. Unlike cheeseburgers, Dr. Ramsey says oysters have unique nutrients, making them one of the best foods for depression.